All right, I wanted to take a, a minute to correct the video you're about to watch. So I made a, two errors in this uh, video. One was that there's uh, two like drain plugs in the uh, oil pan of this uh, automatic transmission. The one to the rear is actually meant for a temperature sender, and the one to the front is a little bit lower, and it's meant for draining the transmission. So you can use the one forward to uh, drain the transmission. And then for checking the fluid level, disregard what I say in the video following this. What you do is you run the machine for five minutes, you run it through the gears, make sure the oil goes through the filters and everywhere it needs to go. And then you pull out the dipstick and you want it to be at the high mark. And you just put it back in. So that kind of gets explained in this little document here. I'll post a link to it in the description. But you want it to be at the high level, not the bottom. And they say it takes about a half a liter to get from the uh, low to the high. So you, and the total system capacity is seven liters. On the bigger machines, the torque converter will actually have a drain plug on it. But I, I didn't look on this one to see if it had one or not. But I got quite a bit of fluid out of it, plus I dumped some flushing fluid through it, like just some extra automatic transmission fluid. So you'll probably want to buy two two-gallon jugs or two five-liter jugs, and that should be adequate to do the job. So I uh, thought I'd just put in that correction and uh, watch the rest of the video if you feel like it. Thank you. All right, so I just changed the automatic transmission fluid in this TCM forklift. It's pretty straightforward. They're on the side of the transmission, on what we would call like the driver's side of the car, there are two 10 millimeter plugs. The one that's rearward is the drain for the transmission pan. The forward one is for testing line pressure. So uh, all you do is uh, put a drain pan under there, take the plug out, and more than likely you're going to make a mess. There's not a lot of workspace in there. And then there's like a, a mesh screen inside the transmission that's inaccessible. You would have to take it apart to get to it. So what I did was I just dumped a couple liters of uh, transmission fluid in through the uh, filler slash dipstick. It's just a press fit stick. And then you use uh, Dextron 3 transmission fluid. And it's uh, 2006 and earlier fluid that you're going to be using. So uh, the Dextron continued to use its name past Dextron 3 and it's not compatible all the way up. So you don't want to use the newer stuff in this machine, you probably ruin the transmission. And uh, so this is the uh, dipstick here. It's just a plastic plug. You jam in there and you can check the fluid. And uh, I don't know if you check it with the running or stopped. I can't really tell you that. So you probably just want to check it before you start, make a note of where it is, and then uh, put it back to where you found it. And uh, I'll try to find out in the uh, manual, and I'll make a note in the description if I can figure something out. So that's really all I'm going to show you for this. Other than when you're changing that filter there, you'll want to use some uh, cleaner and just hose off the area so you don't get any fluid in. So I guess we'll, we'll show you that with the uh, filter changed, and then we'll be done. All right, as promised, so that's the uh, changed oil filter there. So I uh, guess you can see I kind of just tried to clean this off as best I could with some brake cleaner and wipe it off so I can get that filter on there without making a mess. So that's pretty much the end of the video. Like I said, I'll mention the uh, fluid checking uh, method in the description for the video. So thank you for watching.